Hi, this is Shah with LoveToCode.com. Welcome back to another tutorial on Java JDBC. In this video, you will learn how to execute SQL queries. This is the development process for a simple query. The first thing we need to do is get a connection to a database. Then we need to create a statement object. Next, we'll execute a SQL query. And then finally, we'll process the result set. So let's go through each one of these step by step. So we start off by getting a connection to a database. We set up variables for the database URL, the user ID, and the password. Then we make use of the driver manager to get a connection based on these variables. If everything is successful, then we'll get a valid connection object. If there's a failure, then the system will throw an exception. Now that we have a connection to a database, we can move on to the next step, creating a statement object. So what we'll do in the code is we'll say mycon.createStatement. This is a basic object that we can use later for executing our SQL query. In step three, we use the statement object to execute a SQL query. So in our Java code, we'll have mysql.executeQuery, select star from employees, and this will return a result set. So remember, we can pass in any SQL query that supports ANSI SQL. In this example, the SQL string is hard-coded, but you can also pass in any string object that you build up dynamically. For step four, we'll process the result set. The cursor is initially positioned before the first row in the result set. So we can make use of the result set dot next method to move the cursor forward one row. This method also returns true if there are more rows to process. So we can use this in a loop to process each row in the result set. So we can say while myrs.next and then we read the data from each row. When we are in the loop, we can retrieve data using getter methods. We can look up the data based on column name or column index. Note that the column index is one based. In this example, we are printing out the last name and the first name for each row in the result set. All right, so let's go ahead and switch over to Eclipse and test this out. I have a simple program called JDBC Demo that has a main method. I have some variables set up for the connection, statement, and result set. I also have variables set up for the database URL, the user ID, and the password. So following our development process, the first thing we'll do is we'll get a connection to the database using those variables. Then next, I'll create a statement using that connection object. Then we'll execute the query, select star from employees. And then I'll process the result set. And I'll print out the last name and first name for each employee. All right, so let's try this out. I just ran the application, and as you can see, it displays the last name and first name for each employee that's in our database. So this looks pretty good. All right, so let's switch over to the MySQL tool, and I just want to verify this information in the database. So I'm going to run this query select star from demo.employees, and then we'll see the output, and this output looks very familiar. Same thing we had in the Java program. So we can confirm that our Java program is really connecting to the database and retrieving the correct data. Alrighty, so let's go ahead and wrap up. So we were successful in connecting to a database and executing a SQL query, and finally processing the result set. 